They're 8 and 40 over the last four years, which is one of the most unsuccessful runs in college football. To turn this thing around, we have to change attitudes, approaches, work ethics, change the entire culture here in North Texas football. And that's exactly what this football club has seen. Big change. They brought in a more experienced head coach. They're building a brand new multi-million dollar stadium. Even the atmosphere around the team has transformed greatly. Everybody's starting to buy in and believe in the team. And the talent is like everybody's starting to work harder. New head coach Dan McCarney seems dedicated to showing the Mean Green fans that the unsuccessfulness of this program wasn't due to lack of talent. They've been struggling, they've been down. I don't have anything to do with that, but what I have to do right now and what I'm in charge of now is making sure that every day when I leave the office at night, Kayla, I want this program to be better than it was I got here in the morning. And he sure brings more intensity to the team. His passion fires up his players to make every practice count. During drills, he continuously yells. So what exactly does that mean? I don't want these guys to worry about yesterday or tomorrow. Just take care of today. Be as good as you possibly can be today. Um, lock in just on that period of five minutes. You can always do better than you did the last play. I mean, if you make the play, you can always get better by making another play. So it's staying the same, you're getting worse. I was curious to find out what kind of man Coach McCarney really is. Turns out, off the field, he's the nicest guy you'll ever meet and such a people person. I love him. You know, he's a great guy, great energy. Just love to be around our players. And uh, I say he's going to like, it's motivation basically. Like, everybody's motivated and they feel like he's going to make us better in our aspects of the team. So. There's a lot of intensity practices and it makes it much more enjoyable. He won't, he won't give you any kind of BS. He'll definitely let you know what's going on, how we're going to do it, and how it needs to get done to win. I mean, he knows what he's doing, obviously. Yes, Coach McCarney really does know how to win. In his 11 seasons at Iowa State, he took a struggling program to three bowl games. In 2000, his team won the Insight.com Bowl, and in 2004, they won the Independence Bowl. Carney's bringing out more potential than like all of the athletes. That... Now with the success at Florida, he, you know, he, he's going to give us. A, he knows what it takes to win. He's going to give us a chance to win. In 2008, McCarney took the defensive line coaching position at the University of Florida. That same season, he earned a national championship ring. I've seen him, you know, when he gives you a fist bump, you know, almost breaks your knuckle, you know, at least you know, at least you know, you know, this guy's been there before, so. No, it just shows his experience, you know, he's been to the, he's been on the best teams, he knows what to, what to do with teams to get them to where they need to be. And, and the most exciting change seems to be the new stadium. I love it, everybody loves it, you know, everybody's excited to play in it. I don't know if many kids have played in a stadium like that before, I've never played in a stadium like that before, so. We're all definitely wanting to get in and definitely wanted to win in it too. But would McCarney be here if it wasn't for this addition? Exciting that, and you know, I've been asked a number of times, would you have taken the job had you not had this new stadium coming in? And I gotta be honest, I, I don't, I'm not sure. It definitely have, was a major factor. When completed, this $60 million stadium will fit 30,850 fans. Bouts Field has been said to be one of the worst college fields in the nation, so students and players alike are all excited for their new venue to open up this fall. You know, you know how the old stadium was kind of sucked, so <laughs> yeah. everybody's just anticipating coming to the new stadium plan. But Mean Green fans have been disappointed with this program for years now. Hopefully, all this hype will pull big home crowds and motivate the team to win. My goal is not only to set the all-time attendance record, my first game here at North Texas on September 10th against Houston, is to get all these great students that are here on campus to come to tailgating and then come on into the stadium and help us get a home field advantage. If we can pull some wins together, you know, get this community excited, I think there's no reason that we shouldn't have a full stadium every time we go out there to play. I'm excited. I can't wait. I'm ready to put pads on now and go to Florida. It's a new era for North Texas football. Brand new head coach, brand new stadium, and a brand new energy. The expectation has never been greater. For NTTV Sports, this has been Kayla Haynes.